Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome again to a new day of the Elder Scrolls Arena. We are now fast traveling to Ten Mile Forest. We should arrive there either Saturday or Sunday. Hopefully Saturday. Well, maybe Saturday night, I guess? Because I, I, I really want to get, like, a good night's sleep on Saturday and be fully, like, ready and raring to go on Sunday. To just do a lot of uh, some dungeon crawling, maybe some little quests. Just do a whole bunch of stuff, because I, I really want to get some stuff done. Make some money, because I need it. I need lots of money, because I'm broke now. Well, I mean, I say broke. I've got, like, what, 6,000 gold? Just under 6,000 gold? Still, I found that one ebony piece, and if and it, what did it cost? 30,000? 30, 30,000? No, it was more than that. It was 300,000. No. I think it was 30,000. Well, that's not that much. Maybe it was 300,000. The point is, it was a lot of money, and it was more money than I had. In fact, it's more money than I've ever had. In fact, it's, I'm pretty sure it's more money than the total amount of money that I have collected in the game thus far. <laughs> so, and that was for why, I think that was for like a shoulder. A shoulder piece. Um, which I would assume would be the cheapest piece of, the cheapest piece of armor that you, that one could buy in the game. Anyway, so it's Wednesday, um, you know, Wednesday stuff. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's talk about, uh, what happened, uh, in the Borderlands 2 loot hunt. Uh, so yesterday, uh, Tuesday, we had to kill King Mong. Now, you might have, you might have remembered, uh, last week sometime, we had to kill Donkey Mong. King Mong is another bully Mong in the same area, actually, uh, as where, um, Donkey Mong was. So he's in the Iridium Blight, uh, which, you know, have made it that far in the story yet, but it's part of the main story. Um, interesting thing to note, or, or obviously it's a bit late, because I always do this, I always do what happened yesterday, so it's not like I can give you tips on how to find him, but, um, the, the map on the website actually showed him as being, like, near the, the exit that goes to, um, the next area, uh, which I forgot the name of, Arad Nexus, I think, um, but he actually can appear either there or near the, um, exit to Heroes Pass. So he can actually appear in both areas. Um, King Mong dropped for us the bunny, which is a rocket launcher, and it's kind of funny. But it's, it's, you know, it's a rocket launcher. I think, I think the rockets actually shoot really quickly, which is good. When it's empty, it's like a torque, uh, not a torque, a TDR gun. I think it is a TDR gun. Uh, wherein, when it's, uh, if you've ever used a TDR rocket before, it's actually cool, because basically you sort of, you, you hit it, and then you throw the rocket launcher uh, as another projectile that attacks things. So, considering that rocket launchers always have a very limited amount of ammo, and, for example, ammo regeneration skills, and, like, say, uh, gun zerking, that regenerates ammo, it doesn't actually regenerate um, rockets. So rockets are always a thing that you don't have a lot of. So a gun that adds an extra like shot without actually consuming a bullet it is a, is a welcome a welcome thing. Um, but the uh, so that's a normal TDR rocket launcher, right? Now the bunny is a little bit different. When you run out of bullet, when you run out of rockets, you, you hit it and you throw it. But instead of like being like a rocket. Even a wonky rocket, it does little bunny hops. It goes, boom, 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 boom. It it's kind of similar to a sheep in Worms or a super sheep, wherein you throw it and it just jumps around and then it explodes eventually. And I think in um, in Worms you could you could press a button to make it blow up. In this one you can't. It just it just blows up after a time. But it's still really hard to aim. But it's just funny. It's just boom, 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 boom. Um, so that's the bunny. Um, also, we had to kill a um, hundred thousand dwarves, which, by the looks of them and by the name of them, I had assumed that they are some sort of enemy in Tiny Tita's DLC that I haven't touched. But we totally did that. So we're just three days away from getting our hands on the Sky Rocket, which probably will be a grenade that I won't even care about. Um, 
Uh, what was I going to say? Ah, uh, news, 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 news. I gotta gotta remember to do news because I keep forgetting. So yesterday, I believe I talked about Logan's gun, how it does uh, extra damage and bigger explosions. Uh, this week with the bunny, uh, the bunny uh, is stronger. Uh, that's it. Stronger bunny bombs. It, literally, it says, stronger bunny bombs, what else needs to be said? That's pretty true. Uh, there's, um... Uh, no, that's it. Okay. Um, so, on to the topic of the day. So, let's just close that down. Get on to the topic of the day. So, actually, is today a holiday in Skyrim? What do you mean? I think today is a holiday. As in a, a as in a, yeah... Is it a public holiday? Not a public... Well... Technically, you're right. It's a, it's a holiday. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, what is it, the 6th? Yeah, it says 6th. No, the 8th, there's something going on. The Moon Festival. Ah. Okay. But we won't... That's over in... Uh, uh, the... The, the, uh, the Bretons? Are they called the Bretons? Yeah, they're called the Bretons. Uh, High Rock, High Rock. That's the one, that's the one. Anyway, on, on to today's topic. So, there's this weird thing that I've been experiencing um, in... I don't know if it is just this room or this house, but it's certainly something that's really affecting me. The room that I'm staying at, maybe it is the room, I don't know. What, what I do know is, it's, it's either the power... Uh, so the electricity, the, the electricity like socket, or something else is interfering with my microphone when I do recordings normally. Now at the moment I'm using my laptop uh, on the coffee table on the couch. Um, I'm using my Logitech USB mic. Now generally when I when I'm doing a recording uh, just by myself, I will use the Logitech mic uh, because it doesn't really pick up the TV um, as much. Um, and it's also a lot louder than the alternative. Um, the alternative being uh, what I use when I do uh, Leo and Friends videos with Ava and Jack, uh, which is my uh, Blue Snowball uh, multi-directional microphone. That's also USB, uh, but it um, it's a lot quieter, and uh, you might not realize this, but it's quite funny. Um, the way we all, we all sit on like the couch, like in a line, with the snowball microphone. So it, uh, let's say you've got me on the far left, uh, Jack in the middle, and then Avo on the right, although sometimes they swap. But I'm always on the far left. The snowball is on the far right in front of whoever's sitting on the right side of the couch. So I am the furthest away from the mic that I could possibly be. Yet, I th well, it depends on the video, but I can be pretty freaking loud, because, well, I, I purposefully speak louder so that it, it, the microphone picks me up. The reason I do this is because the freaking two dudes next to me are so quiet, they just, they barely, and because that microphone is quite good at picking up things, it'll pick up, like, outside noise, and it'll pick up, like, the TV really well, which is really annoying because it, like, affects, it, it creates, like, an echo effect on the, on the, on the video, which is really annoying and I, I try to sync up the video as much as possible so that doesn't happen. Um, I mean obviously the best solution would be to use like what some YouTubers do, use headphones um, but they don't want to. So what can I do? Um, also we got three people so three headphones makes it kind of difficult. Not impossible but anyway the point I'm trying to make here is um, Right now, I'm, I'm using my, my USB uh, Logitech. Now, at the moment, um, my laptop is not plugged into AC, okay? So, if I'm not talking, like now, you, you know, there's no real background. Now, I'm going to plug in my AC into my computer right now, okay? And you're going to you're gonna hear it. The, the computer will probably make a beep to say that I plugged in sound, but you'll notice something else as well. Okay, can you hear that? Hear that, hear that friggin' like interference or whatever it is? So if I, and then I'll unplug the power and it's gone. I, I don't understand what that is. I've, I've fiddled around with the power 
um, at least in this room. I haven't actually tried it outside of this room, but this room is the only real room that I can do recordings, so I don't really have a choice. But now, outside, just outside the window of this room, there's a box covered up by like roof tiles. Um, and it makes this really loud humming sound, which is very similar to the humming sound that you just heard when I plugged the AC in. And I don't know what it is. But I don't know if it is just the power, because um, if I, uh, when I do, like, what are the device that I use to do my recordings is a, uh, a HP Pavag, um, sorry, a HD Pavag, Pavag, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Um, hop, sorry, a HP Hopark, that's what I was looking for. A, a HD PVR Hopark, that's what it is. Anyway, the point is, okay, um, I'm not going to do it now because I'd have to go over there and grab the USB. Um, uh, well, screw it, I'll do it, hang on. Let me grab, let me grab the USB, where is it? Oh, USB, come here, there you go. Uh, unfortunately though, I can't plug it in there, because the mic's plugged in there. But I can just unplug this, which is actually the wireless keyboard that I use when I'm actually recording actual gameplay of Arena. Um, so obviously I don't need that right now. Um, okay, so this is the USB that plugs into the park. Now I'm going to plug this into the USB. No, no, I'm not sure how smart this is to actually, um, wait, did that just do something? Yeah, it did. So I haven't even, I'm, I'm not actually, I didn't actually plug it in. I'm just going to gently, God, this is so sexual. I'm just going to, I'm just going to put in the tip. Just going to, just going to touch, touch, touch the tip with the metal of the USB. So there's, there's a slight interference. Now I'm going to plug it all the way in. I'm going to, I'm going to shove this USB right inside you. Ugh. So there is another little, it's not, it's not as powerful, is it? Well, I mean, I can't actually hear it right now, but I'm looking at the, um, the, my actual recording software and I can see like the actual rise in, in sound. Now that's, this is, now the, pa the AC is still unplugged. This is merely a USB coming from my Hopag. The Hopag is of course plugged into the uh, AC, the same AC. Um, the Hopag is also plugged into the TV, which the TV is also plugged into the AC. And the Hopag is also plugged into my PlayStation 3, which of course is also plugged into AC. So I don't know if it is the AC, so the AC is going through the Hopag, through the USB cable, into the... Um, into the into the USB that's making that interference. Now, interesting thing to note, I'll plug in, now I'll plug in the AC as well. Actually, is that less of an interference? So now I've got the, the, the hard USB and the AC both plugged in, and the interference isn't that bad. If I unplug the USB now, yeah, it's about the same. No, it's, it's actually exactly the same. Yeah. But if I... Ooh, that's, but if I unplug the AC... It's really the same. Okay, plug, plug the AC back in. Okay, now the AC and the USB are plugged in. Okay, so there's interference going on in the background. Um, now, um, what I'm going to do now is on... So the AC plugs in on the left side of my laptop. The USB is plugging in on the right side. This is completely irrelevant. But... Um, on the left side of my laptop, I have a VGA output, okay, which I use um, to VGA to uh, TV. Um, now, if I uh, touch my finger on the VGA, it will actually cancel out almost all the interference. Okay, so all I'm doing is touching my actual finger to the VGA cable. I hope I don't electrocute myself. See, it's gone. Now I'll let go, and it's back. Touch it, it's gone. Let go, and it's back. So, okay, so my feet are touching the ground. You know what, let's let's put my feet up. Okay, my feet are not touching the ground now. Does it still do it? Oh, well, yeah, your butt's touching the, 
Your butt's touching the couch, which is touching the ground. Uh, I guess. So, explain to me. Someone, please, explain to me what the hell is going on. That when I plug my laptop into AC, it's got this weird interference when I'm recording. As does the Hopag USB, even if the AC is not plugged in. However, regardless of what is plugged in, if there's interference, if I touch my naked finger to the VGA output port on my computer, almost all of the interference disappears. Now, I've sat there with my finger on it, and I felt a little bit of a tingle. So I don't know if that's a bad thing. I don't know if I maybe should be touching it with my finger because it kind of... Stop it. Um, can, can you unplug all that stuff so I get rid of the interference? Yeah, sorry. Let's unplug that. That's better. Um, so I don't know if that is a bad thing, like if, that, if I might accidentally shock myself one time if I do that. But yeah, it's a real pain in the butt. So like whenever I do a recording, I literally have to unplug everything, including the AC, and just run on battery power, um, which can be a problem. Uh, there's been a couple of occasions when I've done uh, an arena episode with gameplay where the episode went on for like a long time, like over an hour. And I was scared that I was going to run out of battery power. Um, I mean, obviously the battery on my laptop runs... Well, what does it say now? How, how much time does it say it's got? It doesn't say. Yeah. Well, never mind then. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, I, but can someone explain to me why touching my naked finger on the USB, on the VGA output port stops all of it? If it's some kind of grounding, if the, the electricity interference is passing on to me, I don't get it. One thing I do know that is, and I can't show you right now, um, is that if I were to plug in my snowball, um, the snowball with the AC and the um, VGA plugged in will have no interference whatsoever. Um, I don't know why. Uh, you know what? Maybe it actually does. Maybe it's just that the snowball's a lot quieter, you can't hear it. You, if you listen to, uh, if you watch my Red Guard, Sky and Red Guard videos, which I, is uh, to date the only thing I've actually recorded while being in Japan that isn't Arena. Um, you Well, let's just say it's the only thing that I've recorded while in Japan using the Hapag, you know, on the PlayStation. Um, I tried recording something else, but it didn't work. Um, you'll notice that I'm using, even though I'm by myself, I'm, I'm clearly using the snowball because um, of the way that I'm a little bit quieter and the the snowball is uh, like picking up the TV a little bit. Oh, no, no, actually, no, I did. No, it shouldn't pick up the TV because I um, was using headphones to do that. Yeah, because I actually used headphones so it wouldn't interfere um, just to make my life a lot easier when I, when I actually had to clip it and record it. Um, so, I mean, it's weird. It's just, it's odd that it does that. And I know I could use the, snow, the snowball for everything, but I don't want to. The snowball isn't, like, a really convenient thing to do when I'm doing, like, arena playthroughs. And the whole idea of my, my doing arena is to have a blog that was really easy to create. Now, these, these episodes are the easiest of them all. Although the only thing that would make them slightly easier is if I didn't bother putting like the the animation that you're seeing now and I just released like mp3 files somewhere and said here's where they are just listen to the sound <laughs> because I obviously I, I save it as an mp3 and then I um I create a video using the the loop that you're currently watching um, if you've never played Arena before, and this has actually, like, you actually think that this is actually gameplay, it, it's not, I'll, I'll come clean, um, it's pretty obvious that it's not, because I'm pretty sure in the game I've actually fast travelled, yes, and you can see that the fast travel, this animation doesn't last a long time, it sort of starts and it stops, um, but I, I made this, um, 
uh, I actually did it by fast traveling all the way to the bottom left of the entire map, and then fast traveling while recording to the top right of the map. And then I took that, say, three second clip, and I just looped it indefinitely. <laughs> And then I added the, you know, the music of the, you know, the basic music uh, to the to that as well, so that it just, so there would be music in the background. And then I used that as as the actual video for my blog episodes. But yeah, the blog episodes are, are the easiest thing to do. Um, anything more than that, anything more than what I do when I'm actually doing gameplay, and I wouldn't really want to do this series. Um, so having to like rip out the snowball every time I want to use it because I when I'm done when I'm when I'm I'll be done finishing this recording in a couple of minutes the first thing that I will do after plugging the AC back in on the computer so it doesn't turn off is unplugging the the USB mic and sticking it on a table on my left so that it's completely out of the way and then I'm going to save it as an mp3 um oh there is one other thing Oh, yeah, th th there's another thing. Okay, so the you, I'm currently holding the USB um, cable for the whole park, right? Now, if I... No, wait, that doesn't work. Wait, how did you do it? I don't remember. Oh, is it you plug the AC in? So you plug the AC in, and there's the interference. No, there was something where if you touch the USB, it does something. Eh? <laughs> you know what, I'm not sure now. Yeah, okay. No, it's fine. Okay, so can you unplug that? Yeah. This noise is probably super annoying for anyone watching. And I do apologize about that. But I did just want to point out that weird interference that's, you know, coming up... Um, there has been a couple of times when I've done an arena and I've forgotten to unplug the power and I do apologize and it's created that sort of back back sound but I'm I've you know recently certainly I've remembered to unplug it like every single time so anyway uh, that's about all I got to say about that so when we come back um, I will be uh, still fast traveling and uh, we'll discuss something else so for now my name is Leo and I will see you next time